Hey, welcome. How are you doing? Today's ride, 60 minutes. Muscle tension intervals, MTIs. Slightly longer version than one we've done already. This is a, uh, uh, well, it's slightly longer, but also the MTI part of the workout is longer as well. We've got three 12 minute blocks of muscle tension intervals. Now on paper, these look fairly easy. Uh, we're 85% um, FTP. Working around about just below 80% max heart rate, just to give you an idea of the kind of level of intensity. Uh, it's a zone three effort. And as I said on paper, they look fairly easy. Shouldn't be that challenging. However, they really are. And I kind of think it really messes with you, messes with your head, this one. Uh, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of like them, but hey. So this isn't your request, by the way. Please, Chris, can we have some longer MTIs and a longer workout? So be careful what you wish for, folks. <laughs> now then, what's an MTI? Muscle tension interval. Um, we're working at the bottom end of our cadence range, 60 RPM. So just getting our legs warmed up here. Uh, numbers on this side of the screen, by the way. Intensity level, FTP, heart rate. Follow your numbers here for some guidance. And there's gonna be a timer to show you how much fun or pain, whichever one heard you wanna use, how much is left. So then, tempo efforts. It's kind of, um, so you're below threshold, definitely. Keeping it aerobic all the way, folks. Keep a check on the heart rate. The MTI then, low end, low end cadence, as I said, but heavy gear, really loading up that gear. And it's a balance between that heart rate. If you're following your FTP numbers, that's fine. You wanna be bang on, 85 FTP. Slow the leg speed right down to get that lovely feeling in your legs. <sighs> it's all good. So we're recruiting fast twitch muscle fibers. Uh, these are helping with sprinting and anaerobic efforts. It's building that muscular strength, right? Uh, another byproduct, another little bonus of these heavy low cadence intervals is it will tend to bring in your glute activation which is only a good thing, right? If you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know I bang on about getting the glutes to do some work as you open the hip. So if you just feel it in the front of your legs today, I guarantee, well not guarantee, I would suggest towards the end of that third MTI, you're gonna to start to feel something, some activation in those glutes. How are we doing time-wise? Try to keep a track here, look. We've got seven minute ramp warm-up, and then we've got this block, 12 minutes on, four minutes recovery in between, and then we go again, recover, go again, cool down. So it's kind of a lumpy profile, right? Three little challengettes, 12 minutes of climbing, Nothing. Your legs have got this today. <sighs> I breathe. Settled on the bike. Remember, soft on the hands. Little bend at the elbows. Shoulders back and down. Tucked into your back pockets. Chest up. Nice, deep belly breathing. Let the abs go, folks. Let them go. Not the place to hold your abs in. If you see a pro cyclist, by the way, from a side view, they're skinny as you like, aren't they? I mean, absolutely rake thin. Someone like Chris Froome's got massive lung capacity. 
He's really, really, his body fat percentage is really, really low. You see him from the side when he's in a riding position and you see him breathing. He looks like his belly is absolutely huge. It's because he's breathing deep, deep down, letting those abs go so the diaphragm can go right, right low, getting that breath in. So don't worry about your abs, let them go. We're not here to look pretty, are we? <laughs> Well, I'm not, I don't know about you. <laughs> Here to get some work done. Check you got something to drink. Maybe a towel if you need it. Oh, it's gonna get warm. I've left my fan off for the moment because today I'm recording this and it's minus eight outside. So, a bit chilly. I've got no heating in my gym. So it's a bit chilly in here. But I think I'm gonna need my fan a little bit later. Okay, folks, we've got one minute to go. Let's get that fluid on board before we go. So, I'm currently around about 70 RPM. And we're gonna drop that down. Now then, just a quick note. If you've got any knee problems, please beware of this heavy resistance. Make sure your bike setup is spot on. Got any real knee issues? Back off a little bit on that resistance. Do you know what I do? I can feel my glutes already. I don't know why that is, but ooh, I get scared already. Okay, in 10 seconds, folks. We're going to drop that leg speed right down. And are you ready? Dropping it right down. And it's going to, oh, that's a rude awakening. 85%, my smart trainer, I'm not changing gear as you probably noticed. Oh, that's not gonna be fun for an hour. My smart trainer auto sets to my percentage FTP. <laughs> it's really horrible. Percentage FTP. I'll be fine, I'll ride into it. But that is feeling pretty shocking already. Now, if you're still in your happy place, <laughs> I would suggest you need to put a little bit more gear on because this is not a happy place right here. Keep it smooth. Watch that RPM, watch the leg speed. Minimum 60 RPM, folks. Now, in two versions of this workout, one with music, one without. Without music, load on your own, top volume, whatever you like. If you're listening to the version with music, it's uh, uh, the playlist has been picked with a tempo of pretty much bang on 60 RPM. So you can use that tempo to help. If you're using your own music, <laughs> you play something with a faster tempo, you watch how your legs will pick up that new tempo and check your bike computer. <sighs> Oh, my legs aren't really happy. This is going to be a long 12 minutes. <laughs> oh, I kind of regret this already. How about you folks? Oh, oh I'll be fine. I might have to put the fan on already. I'm finding that quite warm. So nice and smooth on those pedals. Extend you from the hip. Let's just get some, I want to get some control here. I'm feeling that effort, early doors. There we go. Settle into the rhythm. Bum, and bum. Who started this workout? and gone, oh. Chris, are you sure about this? Are you sure we're gonna do three 12 minute blocks? Yes, we are. And trust me, I am, your, <laughs> I am feeling your pain. I am not cheating. <sighs> In fact, look, I'm not. I'm gonna take a picture on my phone of my headset and I'm gonna post that 
So you can see I'm definitely not cheating. And my heart rate's just gone mental because I'm talking to you. I'll keep my hands still. That's probably a really shocking photo. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit blurred, but yeah, ignore the heart rate. It's gone a bit mental because I'm talking. I actually feel okay. See if I can breathe that heart rate down. And I'll take another picture. A piece of oh no, it's come back up to 85. Breathe it down. So if you feel like you're really losing control of that heart rate, big deep breaths, maybe drop the gear a little bit. I've got no choice. It's auto setting. Now I really want to try and get my heart rate down from where it is. It's too high. A bit too close to threshold. It's coming down now. Now you should have oodles of pressure in those legs. These are heavy gears. Now if you've not got FTP to work with, don't worry about that. How does this feel? I can tell you this feels hard, <laughs> pretty hard. So even though it's not a massive FTP effort, the fact that I'm having to really rely on muscular strength to turn those pedals, I can tell you, it hurts in a good way. <gasps> Always. Ooh. Come on, let's get this. I'll get a nice picture for you. Let's get another one. Don't try this at home, folks. I think that was even more blurred than the last one. <laughs> oh, well. You'll get the general idea. But the heart rate has come down. How much have we done? Oh, coming up to halfway. Oh, I'm normally full of banter, I have to say. Oh, lacking on the banter. <sighs> I'll be right, second one will be better for me. So do these efforts get harder for you? Or do your legs kind of ride into it? Mine kind of ride into the effort. Let's get the control. I'm talking on top. You try talking or singing why are you doing this i see how hard that is oh over halfway i mean actually that pressure doesn't feel so bad i mean it's exactly the same but our legs are kind of just about waking up so my leg speed bang on 60. Oh, BM. I've got the tracks playing here, the playlist, in my ear. So I can hear, if you listen to the music, this is what you're going to be hearing. And it does help. Oh, yeah, heart rate's come down a little bit more. Bit of a rude awakening. Now, if I was, if you ride on the road and you haven't got power, I can tell you this feels, how this cadence, Feels like a good 10% climb, folks. I mean, solid, solid, solid effort. Every pedal stroke, I can feel that's a lot of effort. I mean, it's nice. <laughs> now then, how could you mix up this workout? Well, we're, we kind of work in bottom end of sweet spot. So we're gonna get a good solid block. 36 minutes, yes. 36 minutes in sweet spot. I'll have that. Now at that level of intensity, you could replicate this ride tomorrow, if you so wished. I mean, you're, mm, if you're new to this kind of level of strength work on the bike, your legs probably aren't gonna be very pleased with you. But physiologically, it shouldn't bash six bells out of you. 
Is that the metaphor I've used? I'm not sure if that's right. But you know what I mean. It's heavy on the legs, not massively aerobic. You could do it again tomorrow. So whoever oh, gave some comments, is it, can we have a longer one, Chris? Longer MTI session. Thank you. My legs are not thanking you at the moment. In fact, I didn't test this one because I thought well, that'll be okay. I kind of do MTIs all the time. But what I always forget <laughs> when I'm uh, recording these workouts for you is that when I'm doing it on my own, I can just zone out, concentrate on my own breathing, concentrate on the effort, and that's fine. Can't do that when I'm talking to you lovely peeps out there. But I do love talking to you lovely peeps. So sorry. I can't see you in person because that would be fantastic. One day, one day. When uh, we're still in lockdown in the UK, by the way, it's, it's all those, well, it's not those lockdown rides. And when we don't get some tech help, I'm going to think about doing. Oh, shock, shock, shock. A YouTube live workout. Now, oh, I mean, that's, that's fine for me. It'll be lovely. Still not going to see you though, am I? Which is a shame. I mean, I kind of think, yeah. Let me know if you're interested. Just an idea. For a small subscription, wouldn't be much, just to cover costs. So I make nothing out of this, by the way. Just to cover the costs, we could do uh, a limited number Zoom workout. How does that sound? I can see the whites of your eyes. Get that feedback, get some banter going. Would you be interested in that? Let me know. Anybody interested in doing any live sessions? Oh, we need you there. Maybe not. I think we might be actually. Eight. See, my maths is going now. I'm going to do maths as well as talk. Well, that is never going to happen. I've only got one minute to go. And then that's the first of three done. Ah. How are you in your pain cave? Happy? Hot? <laughs> Freezing cold? Are you in a garage, maybe? <laughs> Well, at least you've got good ventilation, that's all I can say. Happy days. 30 seconds. And then you've got a little bitty bitty recovery. Three minutes, I think. Four minutes. Four minutes. Look at the notes, Chris. Can't remember. All the planning. <laughs> oh, I see, I want to get that. My heart rate's come right down. Second, I get my phone out of mine, it's going to go back up. Nice, it's just, yeah, I'm talking to you. Look at that. It went down to 80. Are we ready? Unload the gear. Oh, come on, go, 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 go. Feel the pressure, got the legs. Drop the gear, folks, on the bike. Drop the resistance if you're on an indoor bike. Doesn't matter. Gears, resistance. Same, same effect. Whew. One done. How did you enjoy that? <laughs> it's quite hardcore, isn't it? Now then, options. I've auto set this workout in training peaks to 85% of my FTP on the MTI. <sighs> Only because. I'm talking to you lovely folks my heart rate just goes up and I want to be able to talk to you so I'm still doing the right level of intensity still in tempo but I'm at the bottom end of sweet spot and that's fine you could do the next two MTIs 
at that same intensity. No problem, which is what I'm going to do. But if I was coming back to do this workout again, if I was doing this on my own, I might mix it up a bit. I might not got power, no problem. I might add on an extra gear for the next sec for effort. And then another gear for the last one. If I'm watching my power, oh, I don't know, what have I got? 85, add on another 3% FTP. And then another 3% for the last one. Or if you wanted to mix it up even more, you could, so what are we doing? 12 minutes. You could do three minute block, another three minute block, three minutes at 85, three minutes at 87, three minutes at 89, three minutes at 82. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. But you get the idea. Staying in the sweet spot zone, but changing the intensity throughout that 12 minute block. Keep it, the thing that the one constant is your leg speed. How are we doing? When are we going again? Oh, we've got a little bit. A minute and a half. Whew. Grab the fluids. Heart rate's come down. Feeling, feeling good. Pressure's gone out of the legs. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> Lovely. Breathe the heart rate down, folks. Get the recovery. I mean, we're probably not seeing massive changes. Now, if I wasn't recording, my heart rate would have dropped off a cliff, but I am, so it hasn't, which is fine. Not about me, it's about you. How are you doing out there? Because my heart rate is still fairly high, I'm not spinning the legs up really quick because that's going to keep the heart rate elevated. I maybe should have dropped down a little bit more. So I'm getting about 30 seconds. You can drop off as much gear. I, I dropped I dropped my recovery power down to 60%. I'm kind of wishing I'd gone a bit lower actually, but anyway, too late now. And you see the graphic along the bottom there showing you where you are in the profile. That's a direct um, going in just less than 10 seconds, folks. Get ready with those gears. Get ready with the resistance. Are we ready? That profile is a direct uh, export erg file. If you know what erg files are, from Training Peaks of what I have got here. Back on it goes. Oh! That's shocking. Oh, let's adjust that position a little bit. Now then, heavy gears. How are you doing with keeping that stroke nice and smooth? Open it from the hip. Squeezing just about 11 o'clock over the top. Squeeze it down. Just as you get to the bottom, other legs taking over on the power phase. Shouldn't feel overly stampy. Not overly feeling it. About three o'clock is normally where it kicks in. Wolf, but yeah, back there. Smooth it out. How does this one feel compared to the last one? Have the legs filed for divorce yet? <laughs> Uh, they give it up and gone off to watch the telly. Uh, are they really happy? Are they liking this level of work? Mine are, hmm, mine are sitting on the fence. They're not quite made up their mind yet. I mean, undoubtedly, this is going to be hot. Muscular strength. Now, my kind of climbing leg speed for climbing mountains is kind of fairly low, around about 67 to 70 RPM. Uh, I do spin it up, drop the gear and just kind of give the legs a bit of a break. But on the whole, that's where I kind of sit. So this is not a massive difference for me. <sighs> 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 
However, with the legs spinning up a little bit more and less gear on, when you're doing a real effort, it doesn't feel anywhere near this hard. This is where you do the hurty hurty training. Do it here, indoors, so you can control it. And then when you get back out on the road, you've got all that lovely work shoved in those muscles to help you out when you really need it. This is aerobic base building, but strength building as well. Very smart training. MTI is very effective. A couple of years back, I did a whole block of MTI training when I was really working on pushing up my FTP. And I did some other stuff as well, but on the whole, most of it was sweet spot rising. Uh, big blocks of MTIs. I managed to push my FTP up by 10%, which is huge. Overjoyed. How far in are we? Not far enough, they say. Are you struggling? How are you doing with that leg speed? Keep checking your cadence meter. You're looking for the RPM number on your bike computer, on your headset, whatever you're using. And if you haven't got any of those things, don't worry. If you want to work out what your legs speed, well, I'm bang on 60, so if you watch my legs and stick with that same one, 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 one. Six of those every 10 seconds. Is that right? Yes, it is. Six times 10. Six every 10 seconds is going to give you 60 RPM. Oh, oh joy. Are you playing your own music? If you are, and it's really helped you, let me know what you're playing. What's, what's helped you with this hard, hard effort? I need to put the fan up, folks. Let's get some more. Too much hot air in here. <laughs> Before you say it. <laughs> Oh, see, I've got a little profile graphic here. I just haven't got in as much detail as you've got there. I'll just kind of see. So I'm on my headset here. I've got a different setup on my road bike, but indoors, I've got my percentage FTP, my percentage max heart rate, my cadence, so my RPM. I've got the ride total time. Uh, I've got, I don't know why that's on there, number of kilometres I've cycled, well, not a lot at this cadence. <laughs> and then I've got a lap time, so the lap equates to each of those blocks. So I can see we've got less than, oh we're halfway through, halfway through the second one, halfway through the workout. Have you ever been so pleased to hear that news? <sighs> Come on legs, how you doing? No, stop talking to me. Not having it. Come on, just. So your head's going to really mess with you on this. It's going to be telling you to stop. It's going to be telling you this is just too hard. It's going to be telling you this is not a good idea. It's going to say, it's fine. Drop the gear, it'll be good. Do not do it. Get to the end. As I said, I've got no choice. Which in some respects, I kind of like, because there's no bail option. No bailing at all. How are you feeling that lactate? 
should be, if you kept to 85% FTP, or you've kept your heart rate below 80%, then you should be okay on the lactate front. The legs should not be feeling like they're completely dying. I mean, I can feel the effort, but you should be in control. Oh, I mean, it's getting warm. <laughs> oh no, it's dripping off the nose. Oh man. And breathe. Now then, is this one going a lot slower than the first one? Or is it, have you settled into it? I'm gonna drop down here. Let's get a little bit of control back. Keep sipping away. A little bit more support down here in my drops. That's helping my heart rate come down. Come on. <laughs> Just listen to the lyrics here. Come on. Yep. <laughs> Is your music telling you to dig deep? Yep. Hold on. And just keep pedaling. That's all you've got to do, right? I mean, it's, it's not rocket science. Just try and keep it as fluid as you can. Keep that control in that technique. Oh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> if you're doing this workout late in the evening, you might, you're going to have quite a lot of adrenaline buzzing around your body. It's that kind of workout, really. It's quite an extended effort. So most of my live instructing were evening classes. You'd think I'd sleep like a baby, wouldn't you? No. Adrenaline going crazy for hours. It's all that excitement watching everybody just having too much fun. <laughs> In a lot of pain. <laughs> you can't beat it. How much we got? Two minutes. Two minutes. And then you're two done. Who's kind of regretting asking? for a longer session. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> You're here now. <laughs> We're all in it together. As I said, I can't deny I quite like these. I like this level of hurt. Really replicates that relentless effort if you're climbing a mountain, you know what it's like. <laughs> it's like, oh, I've got another 10 kilometers to go to the top. 7% average. <laughs> Sorry, legs. But what, what choice have you got? You've got to get to the top because you've got to get down the other side. So you just keep going. And you've got to just keep telling yourself, you know, what do you do? Do you chant to yourself? Do you talk to yourself? Do you chat with your mates? What keeps you going in those efforts? Or if you're doing live classes with people, is it seeing all your mates around you hurting just as much as you? And you feel, you've got, you know, do you feel like you've got to keep up? Or do they motivate you to be better than you think you are? Which you absolutely are better than you think you are, by the way. Always. I do believe we're nearly done with this little bit of fun. Recovery is on its way. About 10 seconds. And then we're going to drop the gear. Three, two, one. Release the gear, release the resistance. Whew. Oh. Did that not come quick enough? 
I'm really regretting I haven't got a towel here. <laughs> Are you grabbing for the towel? What well, I mean, I've got full on drip here, dripping everywhere. Fantastic. Gotta love it, right? In fact, I'm just gonna up that leg speed just a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Break the monotony up. Drop that gear off. I'll uh, gladly sacrifice the higher heart rate just to get a little bit of, move that lactate out of the legs a little bit. So my heart rate's been below threshold, but not a, not a bucket load off, I'm truthful. That's good, that's better. One to go. <laughs> still with me? Are you still with me out there? Come on, you've got this. You'll thank me when you're done. These are hard sessions, not easy. Now, if you want, just a note, by the way, if you're finding this really easy, I would suggest you need to make friends with the resistance or the gears on your bike. Say hello to them. <sighs> not easy. <laughs> Oh, look, it's dropped a bit. Come on, get the legs going. Now, with it all to set on my bike, on my smart trainer here, I'm, I'm stuck with the FTP, but because I'm up the leg speed, it feels easier. So when I slow down, it's going to auto set because remember you've got two things you can control on your bike you can control your leg speed or the gear or resistance now if i've set my power output to be a an absolute amount which i have here set at 60 percent it's going to stick at 60 if i up my leg speed it's the equivalent of taking off some gear because I'm still getting 60% power output with a high leg speed. That's going to burn oxygen. What have we got left? Oh, about a minute. About a minute. And then we're into the last one. Are you loving this? Are you loving it? If you're a, if you're a diehard road cyclist or a mountain biker, actually, and you're kind of you're used to long climbs, long efforts, you'll, you'll kind of know what this feels like. Although you've probably got a higher leg speed than 60. So as I said, it won't feel so hard. Real, real heavy on the muscular strength. Right, I'm dropping down about 30 seconds. Touch less. And then we're into the last one. More fan required. <laughs> you can probably hear it on the recording. It's going higher. Uh, 10 seconds. And, you know, get a gear on. Don't be shy. What have you chosen? Same all the way through? Or are you going harder for each one? Of course you are. <laughs> As I said, I would probably do that if I was doing this on my own. I would start off 85%. Then I would load up a little bit more for each one. Twelve minutes is going to take you to the top of that little bitty hill ahead. <laughs> Twelve minute efforts, not very long. How far are we going to get? I'm not very far, not at this leg speed. Oh, has, it, has, it, has it changed in the legs? Are you feeling it in a different part of the legs? I, I can feel a little bit of hamstrings going on, which I don't normally do, actually. <sighs> We're doing some weight training, and that isn't going to... Some squats. Glutes aren't going to like that very much. Then maybe handed the baton over 
to those hamstrings. Can't feel it in the quads, but I don't normally anyway. How about you? Where do you feel that in the legs, folks? Everywhere. <laughs> oh, my whole body feels it. Everywhere. Everywhere's not happy. Now, light on the hands, even if you're in the drops. Get those core muscles working. So don't be sneaking forwards. Don't be collapsing over the handlebars. I've got no choice because I've got to keep looking up at you. <laughs> so I can't kind of go, oh man, this is too hard. And you know, if you do that, you will feel your whole psyche kind of, if you droop over your bike, you're, you're, you're going to droop inside. It's not, not going to do you very good here. Keep up. Keep looking ahead. That's where you're going. You're in control. You're having fun. <laughs> Keep pushing. Uh, kind of, this is the first of what, another four of these heavy sweet spot or sweet spot variations coming up. This is the first one. Uh, and I've got, um, oh yeah, cheeky sweet spot bursts. Sweet spot bursts, oh, they're fun. If, if it's not up already, wait for that. <laughs> With, just because we can, a 15 minutes optional endurance block at the end. Why wouldn't you? <sighs> Uh, I've also got some endurance ramps coming up. Uh, I do those all the time, I love them. Low level aerobic base training. Woohoo! What's not to love? Yeah, if I'm having a slightly kind of off day, not feeling fabulous. Oh, I feel fabulous most days, I don't know about you. <laughs> but if I'm having a less than ideal fabulous day, I, I will tend to do a nice, nice endurance ramps. I think there's seven in that workout. It's an hour long. It's lovely. It's lovely. And you know, I can zone out. So you've got, as I said, you've got two options for this workout. There's one with music, one without. And if at this point you're thinking, I wish there was a, a, a no Chris backing track <laughs> option. <laughs> Sorry, not available. <laughs> it's the only fun I have, let's face it. Bringing this to you. It's not the only fun, but it's, I do love doing these for you. <sighs> Sharing my pain while I'm working out. <laughs> What's up to love? <sighs> oh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's have a little sip. I mean, my legs don't feel any worse. I don't know about yours. I don't feel any better. I don't feel any worse. How many minutes have we done? Coming up to five. Woohoo! And squeeze. I'll post one of those screenshots so you can see I'm not cheating. Uh, sometimes I don't go full gas if it's really high intensity because I've just got to be able to talk to you, right? But this one, there's no bailing, right? Let's just shift that bum around a bit. Now, of course, what I didn't mention is that almost exclusively when I'm doing these workouts for you, you'll see I'm seated. That's because the second I start to stand up on a turbo, different on an indoor bike, on a turbo, if I stand up, I've got to put on bucket loads of gear and my heart rate just goes skyrockets. So, 
that's not ideal if I'd like to talk. If you're on a, uh, an indoor bike, it's got a flywheel, it is a lot easier to stand. You don't need quite such a big change in gear. The delta's not so big. Now, of course, if you're on a turbo and you're quite happy with that heavier gear, you may be built like a... I'm not built like a flea. I'm a strength athlete. But if you're really, really light, you might be able to stand without your heart rate going absolutely stratospheric, stratospheric even. <sighs> So any of these kind of options where we're climbing, you can stand. Or on the recovery, if you want a posture break, hop up, not hop. Please don't hop. Pop. Pop up out the saddle. There we go. Pop up. Get a little bit of recovery. On the bum bones. <laughs> You've got really good cycle shorts uh, you've got half a chance of being able to just stick with it uh, if you are doing any of these workouts by the way without wearing cycle shorts or cycle knickers you know three-quarter versions well a that's hardcore b it's kind of bordering on insane <laughs> and if you're new to doing indoor cycling workouts two bits of kit cycle shoes I want to be putting my effort my power through the pedals not into a squishy sole on a trainer and some padded cycle wear you don't have to spend a fortune honestly but your, your, your riding your workout will be totally transformed how are we doing here folks bashing away this effort we're making good headway here I kind of work we're over halfway up that last slope there's the top just over there it's got my name on it oh, I definitely feel like I've got a very very light if not heavy glow going on the old cheeks how are you doing on the effort level <laughs> on the uh, sweat level now bizarrely my legs have just woken up they've just gone oh that's what we're doing today and they feel oh, almost bordering on happy oh, yep yeah. yeah that's all right Took a while, eh? How about you? Or oh, are legs given up and gone home? Or did they not come out of home or, <laughs> to start off with? It's like they just didn't want to play. <sighs> come on, team. Nice one. <sighs> yeah, I kind of getting into the groove. Getting into that rhythm. I said, if you're playing the playlist in the background, I don't actually listen too much to the music, it's more about the beat for me, just using it as a cadence check. Heart rate's come right down, it's very happy. Nice. Where are we at? Less than two minutes to go. You can do anything for two minutes. How's your head doing? Oh, is it a little bit sad? Or is it, have you reached euphoria stage? Because we're nearly done. Come on team, this is a good effort. So then we're gonna do up to 51 minutes. Then we're gonna do a step down, step down recovery. So we're going to step down to a block at 60%. So not deep into full recovery to start off with, not dropping straight into cool down. 
we're going to taper it down. Less than a minute. What's not to love? Come on. Oh, your legs are a little bit sad. Because it's nearly over. Are they enjoying this little effort? Now then, come on, who's hardcore? Who wants an even longer session, a longer workout, MTIs? Might drop down from 12 minutes to eight. How many eight minute sessions? 15 seconds to go. How many eight minute sessions can we sneak into an hour and a quarter? How does that sound? I mean, are you? <laughs> okay, so it's dropped down. <sighs> Dropping down now to 60% FTP. Bringing the heart rate back down. <sighs> it's probably not going to come down that quickly because we've been at that high level intensity. Well, it's not high, but <laughs> it's a prolonged level of work there so stay here don't drop the gear right down as I said drop back down to where you were for those little recoveries in between drop down the resistance still fair amount of pressure in the feet so I'm 60 FTP here I'm kind of mentally still working. How about you? Or have you switched off completely? <laughs> I'm enjoying that level of work. Did that go quickly? Or not? <laughs> Was that tough? Solid, solid effort. Love it. Now, that's hard to replicate on the road. <sighs> Loads of the distractions. If you're really trying to get, if you know, if you've got to do a turbo session or an indoor bike session, make it count. Make every pedal stroke count. How much, can, how much sweet spot can I squeeze in in each session? If, obviously, if the session's designed for it. 36 minutes, solid block. I'm putting that in my legs for when I need it. Lovely. Are you warm? Are you still sweating profusely? <laughs> oh, and if it stops snowing outside, it's horrible, I hate it. Oh, you're a fair weather rider. I've been on the road for weeks. I'll bear it. <laughs> Makes me very sad. <sighs> oh, so I've still got a pretty low leg speed here. I'm going to up it when we get to the cool down section. But I'm just sticking with around about 60, 63. That feels kind of nice. Of course, if you're watching this on your southern hemisphere, wow, a little bit jealous. Well, a lot jealous, actually. Funny shade of green. Oh, but you've got fantastic weather. Please don't tell me. Sorry, that's selfish. Just don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> it's grim here. <laughs> Sunniest part of the day it's doing this with you. You've lifted my spirits, if only you knew. <laughs> 30 seconds, folks. And then we're going to drop down into cool down. Back down into zone one. So I'm in zone two here. Nice aerobic endurance. Around about 10 seconds. Oh, we're ready to drop that gear right down. And release that off. Oh, 
Oh, I feel the pressure go out of the legs. Help the tempo a little bit. Feel that in my glutes. Ooh, how about you? Like your glutes? So make sure you drop that gear off. You want just enough that you're just pushing against the pedals. Enough resistance so you can just push against it a little bit. And bring up that leg speed. Big deep breathing. Quickest way to recover here. Get your heart rate down. Just relax onto the handlebars. Or down here, if you prefer, it doesn't really matter. Just nice and relaxed, keeping the shoulders back, chest up, close your eyes. Big deep breath in through the nose, letting those abs go. Hold, and then biggest exhale you can through the mouth. Exhaling till you've got all the last bits of air out of the lungs. Exhaling all that air is a reflex action, it means your in breath can be even deeper. You really want that, folks. So, big deep breaths. Keep that going. Watch the heart rate. Right down. Oh, if you're stuck with that, well done. Proper job. The, that was, that's a toughie. <laughs> okay, see, I'm talking again and my legs need dropped. <laughs> we know it happens every time, Chris. Just having too much fun. Uh, please beware, as I said at the beginning, of your knees with those really heavy gears or heavy resistance. Don't drop below, drop below 60. Keep it above 60. If you've really got a lot of pain, front of the knee, uh, check out your bike position. Check out at 3 o'clock, so as you come round, at 3 o'clock, the front of the patella should go straight through the centre of the pedal. If you've got um, cycle shoes on, the cycle shoes might need adjusting a little bit, or your saddle might need to go back. Anyway, get someone to have a look for you, or get a proper bike fit. Makes all the difference. My legs are feeling fabulous. Are your legs feeling fabulous? <laughs> happy legs. Bum muscles, not so happy. <laughs> Keep it going. Now, as always, if you need longer for your cool down, just carry on pedaling. I'm gonna take you up to 60 minutes, and then you've got a shot of me. <laughs> uh, if you need to carry on, just cooling down, just carry on moving those legs. Do your own stretches. Uh, if you see my biomechanics playlist, I'm gonna be jumping off the bike and do my releases on my legs, always. Minutes ago. <sighs> Whatever works for you. And if, you, if you're going to do a strength session, I mean, you're, you're, you're going to warm up, right? You could do a nice little strength session as you get off the bike. Don't need to worry too much about warming up. Jump out your cycle shoes into your trainers. Get those squats on. Just less than 30 seconds. And then we are done. Ten seconds to go, folks. So close. And bringing those legs to a stop. And thanks for playing along today. Hope you enjoyed that. Please give me your comments. 
down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Give us a like. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody. Thanks for watching. Till next time.